Hello guys, this is your data stage admin tutorial and today we are going to cover code deployment to data stage environment. So in our earlier video, we have uh, checked that how to do deployment on Unix and Linux environment and today we are going to learn that how to do deployment in data stage. So we have a prerequisite like we need to have access to data stage administration ID that is DSADM to do the code deployment in data stage. In uh, Unix or Linux code deployment, we need to have access to UVADM ID. Now source control tool or version controlling tool where your DSX code will be present which you want to migrate or deploy to the any project. Access to data stage administration console or web console. Basically when you have access to DSADM ID, you will be by default having access to data stage administration and web console. Now why we need access to data stage administration console is to protect and unprotect the project. So whenever you have environment like pre-production and production, those environment will always be protected so that any user cannot go and change anything over there. So whenever we want to do any deployment in data stage, what we need to do is we need to unprotect the project first and then do the deployment and then again protect the project back so that nobody is able to do any changes. Then now why we need access to this web console? So whenever we log into our web console to our server, it tells us that who is a user which is online. So what we can do is we can ask that user either to disconnect the session, disconnect the project so that we can do the deployment or we can directly go to web console and we can disconnect the session and then do the deployment. Now what is the process of code movement? First of all, you need to extract the data stage code which you want to deploy from your version or source control tool. Then step two is log into data stage administration web console and where whatever your server is, it will be like HTTPS, your web console, HTTPS to forward slash and then your server name, colon, your port name, slash login form.jsp. So it is always in JSP format. So whenever it will open, you will see it in Internet Explorer or your Google Chrome or Mozilla Firefox. So this is required to disconnect the session, active sessions. Then log into data stage administration console and choose the project in which you want to do the deployment. Click on properties and then unprotect the project so that we can go ahead with the deployment. Step four, log into data stage designer of the project you want to import the code. So we will be logging into data stage designer into that project in which we want to import the code or deploy the code which is changed or a new code. Then click on import and then we'll uh, select data stage components and then select the component where it is present either it is on your desktop or windows or any specific location. It will ask you if you want to execute the job with executable or without executable. You can select with, uh, with executable so that job can be in executable format and then import it. After importing, just for make sure that job should be in a nimble state, you will compile the job. I'll show you that how to do that, but first of all, let's complete. And then verify in director if it is compiled or not. If it is compiled, then exit from the project and go back to your data stage administration console to this step three, data stage administration console, and then protect the project which you have unprotected to do the code deployment. So let's move it with the you know practical part. Extract the data stage code. So I have put one uh, you know file on my desktop that is a DSX file, which I am going to import. Let me show you that. So this is my abc.dsx that is our data stage code which I am going to deploy. Log into data stage administration console. So I have already logged in here. I'll show you. This is my administration console and I am going to log in here. DSADM and the password, enter. Then here I'll go to administration. Then I'll go to session management, active sessions. And you can see that these are the active sessions right now. So it is with DSADM ID only. So I don't have to disconnect it because there is no other user which is online. So I'll close it and then I'll go back to step three, log into data stage administration console 
choose the project and click on properties. So this is my Datash administration console. This is my project Z underscore one two three four. I'll go to properties. So you can see it is in protected state right now. So I want to unprotect it. There is an option to unprotect the project. I click on unprotect. Are you sure you want to unprotect? Yes. So now you have seen that this is unprotected now. So I'll go to the project. So now it is opening as my user ID and password is correct. It will open the project now, and this is a project in which I want to deploy my job. So initially, it will ask me if you want to create a new job. No, cancel. I'll go to import as written here. Login and then click on import. I'll click on import. Then data search components. It will ask me which file you want to import. So either you can go go to that location. I'll go to desktop, and this is the file abc.dsx. Open. Okay. So now you can see that processing has been started now. So it is importing the job design now. importing job executables because I have selected with job executables. So now job has been imported. I'll go to job to verify if that job is there or not. I'll open this job ABC which has newly been introduced. I'll compile it for to be double sure. So this is the option to compile. If you'll go there and scroll, it will show you compile. So I'll compile this job. So guys, compiling the job means whenever there is a job which is in your project, it if it is compiled, that, so until and unless a job is in executable format, only then it can run. Otherwise, it will never run. So right now, compilation is in progress. So now you can see job successfully compiled with no errors. That means this compiled. Or you can go to now director tools run director to verify if it is showing as in compiled format or not. So you can see this job is showing as in compiled state, right? So now I'll close it. I'll close the designer as well. I'll go to my data stage administration console and I'll again protect the project. Yes. Okay. And then close. So guys, this is the thing and congrats, your task to data stage code deployment is now completed. So we need to make sure that we are performing these steps in sequence so that, uh, you know, it is done successfully. So be tuned and, uh, you know, stay tuned and I'll bring some more videos for you, tutorial for you, which is beneficial for data stage administration work. So guys, subscribe to my channel if you want to get notifications whenever I upload any tutorial and you can get uh, benefit out of it. So thank you guys. Bye.